Okay, we are here at the Book Fair in Torino and we are here to present at the University and Cyberspace Conference that will be held in Torino at the end of June, uh, precisely on the 28th, 29th and 30th of June. And we are here with uh, Professor Urs Gasser from uh, the Berkman Center for Internet and Society at the University of Turin. I'm Juan Carlos de Martin from the Nexa Center for Internet and Society at the Polytechnic of Turin. And uh, we are both here because we would like uh, not only to present the conference, but also to explain why we wanted to organize this conference in the first place, what are the main ideas behind it, uh, and to get feedback, feedback from the other people present at the book fair. Don't you, what, do you, what do you think, Urs? First of all, I'm delighted to be here in Torino and thanks uh, for inviting us over. Uh, this is an exciting moment for us, uh, as Juan Carlos pointed out. Uh, we are planning a conference that tries to understand uh, how the Internet actually changed the role of universities, uh, what it means for learning, what it means for education and for society more broadly. So I think we will have uh, three interesting days uh, before us. Uh, the conference uh, covers a broad range of topics. We'll have uh, international speakers actually from three continents, the US, Europe and Asia. And we look into various um, issues. Uh, uh, we have various tracks, one focusing on digital natives. Uh, another track is dealing with the information infrastructure of universities, particularly libraries. Uh, and the third track uh, is, is thinking about the relationship between virtual space and uh, physical space in the Internet age. And you may want to explain a little bit um, in greater detail what uh, the different tracks are about and how they hopefully will come together. Sure. The, the three tracks came about because we, we first of all focused on the people who are going to inhabit uh, future universities, so digital natives. Currently it's students, but eventually even in Italy, they will be professors and technicians. All of them will be digital natives. So the first thing is the people, because those are the crucial actors. And then the two infrastructures. One is the informational infrastructures, which is a high-sounding way of saying the evolution of the libraries, the way we collect information, and the way we disseminate information. So we're going to discuss about uh, uh, the crucial role of the Internet in the gathering of information, and I'll universities are becoming more and more self-publishers through the open access and the open courseware uh, movements. Secondly, we're going to, uh, this was the second track, the third track is going to be about the informational, uh, the spatial infrastructures, meaning the, how are spaces, uh, both physical and virtual, going to be in future universities, meaning there is a trend in architecture to make the spaces of universities more and more open to the cities that host them and also to, to project, to create the physical spaces that are already designed with in mind a virtual extension. So we we'll bring together people expert in these three tracks. They will discuss together about the specific topics and then we will ask them to convene in plenary meetings in order to put all these things together and the plenary meetings maybe Urs want to say something about those. So um, the basic concept is uh, the three tracks that we just briefly introduced will provide almost three different perspectives on the same topic, the future of universities in cyberspace. Uh, one lens, so to speak, is the lens of the students. The other lens, as you described it, is kind of institutional lens uh, looking at uh, information creation. Uh, and the third one then more uh, the physical and virtual aspects of it. And these three lenses, hopefully in the plenary sessions, will come together um, uh, and we organize it like as three cross-sectional topics. Um, the first one is focusing on the civic role of universities in society. Obviously universities are knowledge producing and disseminating institutions uh, but they play a more active role increasingly uh, in shaping uh, society as such so they have an important social role to play and we try to explore in this plenary session uh, how digital technologies, how uh, the internet shapes this role, impacts what um, universities um, do uh, in society, what their role is. Then we will have a second track focusing on uh, uh, universities as platforms for learning. Obviously at universities uh, hopefully we learn something. 
uh, and um, online education would be one example, uh, but really try to understand how young people again uh, learn in these spaces, but also how um, we as faculty learn of course from students. That's the theme uh, number two this kind of uh, horizontal theme and the third one is looking at knowledge uh, production which has changed quite a bit uh, in this environment too and again the idea is to look at knowledge production uh, through these uh, three uh, lenses that we outline at the very beginning. So uh, this is kind of a day number two, an attempt to bring the three tracks together, focusing on some key themes I think that are important uh, for the future of universities. And then hopefully we'll have a, a final session, uh, some sort of a synthesis uh, that helps us both uh, to reflect on the previous two days uh, and the insights we've gained from all these conversations, but also um, uh, a moment of reflection to look forward, to look ahead and think about the pos possible roadmap for the future. So. One of the questions, of course, is these changes, what does it mean for university leaders when we think about curriculum reform, when we think about uh, the next generation of, of buildings we need to create if we build a new campus, for instance? Um, what does it mean for educating our staff and so forth? So the idea is not only to look back and take stock of the present situation, but also uh, to look ahead. And uh, one final but important comment is that this conference is within the context of a European project called Communia, which is the European thematic network on the digital public domain. And what's the connection? Well, the connection is that, as Urs said, the universities are knowledge-producing institutions, and uh, the digital public domain are those uh, those uh, informations, those that, that content that can be more or less freely used and reused. Now, what's the role of university with respect to the digital public domain? That's also a topic that we'll try to address from different points of view during the conference.